This is Mark Anderson for Kellogg Community College, and this is the first of six videos to talk about the fourth test in statistics, the Unit 4 test. Uh, we are going to take a look at um, this correlation, um, and we're going to look at how we can see this on a graph. And our main purpose of this first page is to look at correlation from a dot perspective and be able to assign a value to it. Um, and in this review, we start off with by me giving you values for R, or the correlation coefficient. And um, I want to, you know, basically if you had a little arts class right now, uh, what would a perfect negative one correlation look like? A perfect negative one correlation would look like it is going down at a 45 degree angle so this means for every one x we are losing one y or a slope of negative one uh, this would be a perfect negative correlation and the flip side of that the perfect positive correlation of r equals one would be a straight line uh, diagonally going 45 degrees in that direction because there would be a perfect one-to-one -one relationship between x and y um, now obviously the further away you get from negative one the more these dots get spread out. Uh, in fact, if you get closer to zero, um, the one below it here, um, it looks like a complete sneeze, uh, as if somebody had sneezed on the graph and there is absolutely no correlation. But for a positive, this is an R of 0.5, so this is a 50% um, R value. Uh, this means that there would be um, a, a field of dots moving in the upward direction for every x. Uh, the y would get bigger as well, but it would be less organized. So a 50% line would be more tightly put together with some stragglers and some outliers, but essentially you see this swarm of bees kind of moving in this upward direction if you had to put a line a best fit through it. Um, now, again, as I said before about the r equals zero, the r equals zero would be um, a sneeze, this giant sneeze of no correlation that y and x, when you put all the data together, there is uh, a zero slope, there's a flat line that would basically show that there is no correlation between x and y, and uh, the more data you would have, the more scattered it would be. Now the plot that would be a negative 0.75. So remember we had the negative one being a straight line of dots going in this direction. Negative 0.75 would be close to a negative line, but it would be um, a little spread out because the distances away from that y prime line would uh, take it further away from a perfect negative correlation of negative one. Now one of the best places online that I've ever seen this demonstrated is recently there was a website that got some national attention because it allowed students to play a game called Guess the Correlation. This is at a website called guessthecorrelation.com. Once you go there, you'll have to create a new name for yourself. I just made mine Mark1234. And then it keeps track of how well you can, as the title suggests, guess the correlation. Now, so far, this, um, this game right now um, I have it set for just positive correlation. So um, what it allows you to do is it allows you to put in uh, an answer from 0 to 99 and this allows you to um, try to guess what this correlation is. Now I'm kind of assuming that this is a positive correlation and they're all going to be positive in this setting. They're all positive correlation and um, it looks I'd say maybe 45 percent so I'll put 0.45 and I was way off. The real answer, the real R value was 75. I had a difference of 30. My average error in this problem is 30, so I lost a heart. Now I get to play again. I'll hit the Enter key, and it gives me a new correlation. Now this looks really good. I'm going to put it at 92% for my R, and lo and behold, I was pretty close. The true R was 98, so I got a coin. If you get actually really close to the actual value, you'll gain one of your lost lives back. I'm going to hit enter again. I don't know, let's guess maybe 65% here. 
and I was close. The true R was 69%, so I got one of my hearts back, and I got five coins for a score of six, and I'll play again. Now, I, I think this is a pretty cool tool for you to start to guess correlation, because how does this relate to my test? Well, on my test, I'm going to have some pictures, and you will have to match the... Um, the the correct R value to the correct picture and I'm gonna make it pretty obvious as to which one is which so it won't be as tough as this game but like a good coach if you're good at playing a game like this then you're gonna be crazy good when you get to the test now is this gonna be 55 percent you think so let's try 55 nope it's closer to 80 so I was way off there of course, this is the one I'm recording. Okay, I'm going to give this a high score. I'm going to give this, like, maybe 85%, so 85. There you go. I could have gone higher, 91%. All right, now this one. Okay, I've always been a little too low. Let's go 70 on this. Now, I can type in just 0.7, because that's technically 70 right there. So, there we go. I was only three... Um, hundredths off of the actual value and you can see now I've got 12 coins which is better than my score and you can see that the high scores actually in this game are in the thousands so this is a a pretty long way from getting on the leaderboards alright so let's go with 25 percent here nope too low now this is um, closer to no correlation because it was definitely no sneeze more sneeze like but I was way too low let me try again alright um, let's go with 32 percent Whoa, no, the R value is almost to zero, is 9%. And this is important because 9% is 0 0.09. And if I had typed in 0 0.9, that would have been 90%. So be careful. If you mean 9%, make sure it's 0 0.09. And if you mean 90%, make sure it's 0 0.9. All right, so here we go. Okay, am I going to die this game? 30? Oh, too far off. So since I lost all my lives, I now am back to 12. I, I beat my high score, so I'm at 12 here on this on this login name. And um, I can see how far I was off average-wise. And again, this really kind of builds your intuition for guessing the correlation. So this is pretty cool edutainment. Um, so you can click main menu, you can play again. But unfortunately, it's back to the worksheet as we do more of these problems. So what is the correlation coefficient okay so um, the correlation coefficient is R but we should have to define it as well especially if I ask you to define it on the test the correlation coefficient or R is the measure of the strength and the direction of a linear relationship between two variables x and y. So that's what a correlation coefficient is. Now on the coefficient co continuum where you have negative 1 as your strong negative and positive one as strong positive table I is where you find these critical values to determine the difference between strong negative and strong positive when you look up something on table I you will be able to tell the difference between something that's just positive or in this case weak positive and weak negative to strong positive and strong negative so inside of these critical regions, we can then reject the null hypothesis that says that rho is equal to zero or rho, the correlation, is zero, which is no correlation. Or not a strong enough correlation to say that it's strong positive or strong negative. Now, what's important on my test is I will always give you table I when you need to reference it. There's no need to memorize a table. We'll just present it to you just like people would in the industry use tables themselves. But please do not go looking for table I if it's not right in front of you. Because if table I is not in front of you, you're going to use the t-test or the t-table, which you also will have at your disposal. But let us look at the videos um, 
other videos do we have to make and get deeper into looking at regression here for the first test. Thank you.